Hello and welcome back to the channel. We're at uh, I Kettleby Lakes and I thought what I'd do in this video is to see if there's any difference between the silver screens that you put on the inside of a camper van, motorhome or van conversion in our case, and the external ones. Now if some of you have seen both Maybe you don't own both, but I thought it would be good to do an experiment to see which one we think copes with the winter weather the best. It's the middle, well it's coming towards the end of January 2022 and the sun is now setting. Have a look at this. You can probably see the, the reflection in the uh, window of uh, Smurf there. But the, the sun is now setting behind me at uh, Ive Kettleby and it's uh, going to be, well it's... the, the there's a pinky hue all around the sky tonight, which is rather beautiful. I don't think the camera's picking that up really, but just saying to Sue that... Uh, oh, hang on a minute. We're being interrupted. You're missing out. Bob's got his camera on his roof. Yeah, I realised he was doing a well, time lapse. See, you're missing out there. Yeah, yeah, but Bob's always a clever chap. <laughs> yeah. He's caught that little bit of sunset over there. I've just, cleaned, I've just cleaned the windows because oh, we've done about 350 miles yeah. and uh, <laughs> we wondered why we couldn't see out the back window. Anyway, I'll show you, uh, tonight we're going to do the external screen and then um, tomorrow we'll meet up at the same time and I'll uh, show you the internal screen. So uh, let me get it out of the uh, boot, we store it in the boot all the time and I'll show you what it looks like in the bag and then we'll get it out and put it on the van. So I'm going to get it out of the boot. We store it at the bottom of the boot. I don't know if you, you want to get down here. Come on then. Just clean the windows. I'll store it right at the back. I don't really need to see where, do I? So here it is, okay. all bagged up. And then I'll just uh, show you how how it goes. This is a water, waterproof bag, so if it is wet, and you need to pack it away in a hurry. Um, well, we haven't got this out since December, have we? So I hope that's all right. We meant yeah. to check it, and we didn't, did we? Yeah, we did put it away a little bit damp, we, actually. We put it on Pip's spog, didn't we? Yeah. But I think it'll be okay. So uh, just make sure you get get it up the right way. <laughs> it's a bit of a puzzle. That's right. Yeah. Okay. That's my side, isn't it? Yeah, well, that's the that's other my side. side. Yeah. So all we do is we get find out what's the top yeah. and then there's a pocket here mm -hmm. which goes around the door. Okay, so we just open the door onto its stop like that. Hook it over the top. Okay, and then gently close the door. Going to unzip. There's a little Velcro tab here where it fits over our rather dirty mirrors. Oh dear, third poo. Okay. And then we take this end and walk around the front. <laughs> and there's another a Velcro tab here which we can go around the mirror with. Just pop that on temporarily. Now the trick at this point is to not overstretch this fabric. Mm -hmm. the, the best way to do it is just to open the door very slightly. Okay. I'm sure Sophie doesn't escape. Just about four inches. And then... It's like your that four there. inches isn't enough. Yeah, it is. I, I need to slide it up <laughs> a bit. You're not being cheeky again, are you? <laughs> Oh, you've done it. There we are. Just got to pull it, pull it down, down now. Again. Yeah. 
I'll tell you why, that's got caught here, look. Yeah, okay. And you just close the door. Then you put your little tab back. Put the little tab on. So it fits onto And this one has got magnets It's not here. an exact fit because it was made for Bertie, but it will do. This is a, it's a little magnet there, which it stops it, in it from place. flapping up. It's and very then, lightweight as well, isn't it? And then you've got two little tabs here. You can use it in summer or winter. This here just tucks under here. And that stops it from blowing up. And they're supposed to cut down on the condensation, whereas the internal ones don't, do they? Not so much. Get a lot of condensation This is what it's all them. about. We're going to try and see, see which, which one's best. best. And you've got this little bit on the side to do. And don't forget the bag. So there you see the um, silver screen. This is made by TaylorMade and it's made uh, with a long front for a Fiat Ducato. Um, it does fit the crafter but there's just one or two little gaps like here um, but it, it's not a problem it, nobody, you, you've got to come right up to it to, to, to see through um, but uh, otherwise other than that it's a, a pretty good fit so tailor made I'll put the uh, links in the description below for the website now we're going to go and see our next door neighbour and see if he can do it as efficiently as me I always struggle to reach this bit yeah, Bob, you're six foot. You should be able to fit, do that one easy. There we go. Yeah, Bob, Bob's going to walk around. No pressure. We've got an audience now. We've got an audience now, Bob. I'm beginning to panic now. <laughs> there we go. The thing I would say is that what I always forget to do is clean the windscreen. Ah, yes, yes. Yeah, I didn't Especially mention that, this did time I? of year. Yeah. yeah. It's a pretty good fit, this one. Now, yours is the same model as ours, uh, Bob, because I remember you're, you're asking you. Yeah. Asking you which you thought would fit our van, and you said tailor made, didn't you? So, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, the thing I liked about tailor made is that it, it goes over yeah. the bonnet. Yeah. Yeah. Have you got your little straps? Yeah, I've got. Yeah, I have got yeah. them, but yeah, yeah they on. they Velcro on there, and like I just showed you, I, I strapped mine underneath yeah, they're there. Sort of attached there. There's not much wind out tonight, so it's no. not going to flap about. But, uh, as you can see, it's a little bit better fit on the Fiat because you don't get this gap. Look, it's yeah. beautiful, perfect fit for yeah. the Fiat. Yeah, I mean, what I normally do is I normally put the wing mirrors in like that. That tends yeah. to hold it in place. Yeah. Yep. So uh, we'll see how Bob and I get on tomorrow morning. Measure see the condensation. <laughs> see if the condensation's come out. Yeah. And then uh, if it rains, uh, you'll be able to see how it looks when it's wet. But uh, and then tomorrow night we're going to do an experiment and just use the internal ones. Right. Yeah. And uh, see if if it's uh, any really different. Yeah. 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 The windscreen on the VW is slightly taller, I think. Yeah and uh, so there's not quite enough fabric at the door. Right. Is that the one okay. specifically for the crafter? No, it's the one that we had for Bertie. Oh, right. Yep. So, so right. it's okay. exactly so it's the same. Bad, then, is it? yeah. yeah, exactly the same as yours. But yeah. you can see yours comes down to the headlights. Yeah. And uh, my headlights are well down because yeah. it's a different it's shape. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So our, our windscreen is taller, taller. I think. Yeah. 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 Well, it's not hopefully, fit, yeah, I think uh, rather than you know buy a new one, we yeah. thought we'd persevere with the, yeah. the same one. Well, it's the next morning, and it's time to take off the external silver screen.
So there you are, it's in the bag. The coat just got a little bit damp, but I'm wearing a waterproof coat. Um, and there we are, it can go straight back in the boot. Okay, now I'm looking at the van. I just opened the doors here. No condensation. There's a little bit of water running down the outside of the windscreen, but there's no condensation at all this morning. And uh, we're running at about four degrees Celsius outside. So quite a cool morning. But uh, that to me, suggests that all the moisture so all the moisture is outside on the uh, screen and I must admit I've put that away I've wiped it down but it it isn't dry by any means there's still blobs of water in there I'm gonna put it away as is it's in the waterproof bag put it away now go and enjoy my day and I most likely get that out again later or when we get home to dry it out properly just like you would an awning but it hasn't absorbed moisture the material is very wiped clean but you do get some of that in the stitching and in the in the little nooks and crannies of the of the silver screen well it's that time of day again and um, we're going to put the silver screens back on we've been out for the day so everything's been packed away and uh, i'll show you where i store them in the cupboard and then we'll get them out and uh, clip them on the windows so there's little Oscar and Sophie on their beds. Oh, she's got stuck down there. Hello, what are you doing down there? Hey. So I store the uh, the um, silver screens up here in the locker above the cab, and uh, they, are, they lay fairly flat. I'll just pull them out out of there, and I'll lay them on the top here. There we go. So that's the big one that goes across the uh, windscreen. It's folded into a square that fits in. And then there's two for the side windows. It's that one. And that one. There we are. So we've got uh, the three screens. So I'll just get Sue to hold the camera for me and we'll um, put, put the screens on. So here we are, we've got the uh, driver's door open and all I'm going to do is take, take this and fit it up onto the window. And there we are, I've just folded it out, put that on there. Try and do it with one hand. There we go. And there you have it. That's what it looks like from this side. And there we go. Well, good morning it's the next morning and we're about to see if we've got any condensation behind these inner or the inside silver screens uh, I had a little peek I think my experiments worked it's a very windy morning so I hope uh, you're not getting too much trouble by the wind but we're gonna have a quick look at this side door first and then uh, we'll go around to the front windscreen okay so let's have a look and, uh, Take off this. And already we can see condensation, quite a lot of it. Oh dear. Let's have a look on the inner windscreen, on the in-screen windscreen one. Oh my word. That is absolutely dripping with condensation. Um, there's no way we can drive with that. We're gonna have to mop that up. Yeah. Mm, that's looking pretty, uh, well, the whole windscreen's covered in that wet condensation. So that footage was recorded um, a couple of months ago in January. We're now mid-March and we're at the uh, Two Mills Caravan Park in Norfolk. And I'm um, just about to edit the uh, 
uh, footage you've seen and realised I hadn't got a conclusion. So here we go. As you can see, we're using the uh, silver screen again on Smurf, and uh, we've been out as well to Dunwich um, at the Clifftop Ho Holiday Park, and we used the external silver screen there as well, based on what we'd learnt um, when we were at the previous campsite at Iketelby. I think my conclusions are that this external silver screen is really good for winter use. Um, clearly, if you want to go out in your van you need to put it on and take it off and there's there's it's not quite so easy to put away as the the little internal silver screens but um, I think in sort of mid seasons it's going to be pretty good to use the the smaller internal screens both for privacy and to uh, keep the van warm but you won't get as much condensation in spring and autumn and then in summer, I think my conclusion there, although it's not proven, I think that we'll be able to use this external silver screen again to keep the van cool. It really does wrap around the cab. And as you know from your car uh, or your caravan, the, the, with a big front windscreen on a caravan or, or, or on the car, it really does pick up a lot of heat in the summer months from the sun. So that's pretty much my conclusion. Hence, we're using it again this weekend in March, that's the external silver screen. I hope you enjoyed that. If you've got any uh, comments or any theories about the use of uh, silver screens, do pop your comments in the uh, comment section below. But what's it like to use uh, these internal silver screens on the other windows, perhaps, in, in a van? Have you ever tried that? Um, we've just got the ones for the cab and uh, because the other windows are double glazed we didn't feel it was necessary to have the others but um, tell us what you think and how you've got on with your silver screens we'd be very glad to know uh, that other people have similar or different problems to us so until next time then safe travels and we'll see you next time bye bye